How are we guys? My name is Lee. We're here with M4A1 Gel Blaster for another Gel Blaster review. And on today's episode, we have got the brand new G55 from Well, or as most of you guys will know it as the MP5K. Let's jump straight into the unboxing of this blaster. All right guys, so here you have it. Here's everything that comes inside the box with your brand new G55 from Well. Let's jump straight into what you get. First up, main attraction here guys, the blaster itself. All right, put that one down. Next up, we're gonna find your mag. Uh, magazine, this one is a green gas magazine, so non-CO2, as you can see at the base there. Uh, you fill this one up with your green gas, or your duster gas, or what, what gas you would like to use. Uh, you do have very important uh, piece of equipment here, guys, your uh, safety eyewear. Always remember those when you are playing with your gel blaster. We do have some gels, guys. Uh, these gels here definitely are not going to work, work too well with this blaster being a gas version. So I would recommend definitely trying to grab yourself some Ozgel Ultras. They work exceptional in this blaster. It is what we were actually trialing it with as we were getting this blaster built. So the Ultras is what I'd be looking for. Uh, moving on, guys, we do have a little booklet here uh, from the guys at Well. Uh, you do have some English and you also do have some Chinese. So definitely have a look inside there. There's a few little things in there. And then also guys, stop and think uh, leaflet. Please, please have a read of this guys. This is very important. Please stop and think and have a quick read. At M4A1 guys, we like to have a quick overview of all the blasters that we unbox so we'll grab this uh, mp5 here and we will go from tip to butt i will grab the magazine and load it in so you can get a clearer picture of what the blaster looks like first off though i will rack it back before i do put the mag in uh, as you can cause some damage like with the mac 11 so always rack the bolt back before you put your mag in but let's get to it guys exciting one this one i have been waiting for this one for a long time so let's have a look what this blaster is made out of. All right, first up guys, right on the very front here, you are going to find an aluminum uh, 14 millimeter counterclockwise thread. Uh, so you can actually attach a uh, tracer unit, uh, some kinds of hop ups, depending on what, what they are, or silencers or whatever you would like. So that is pretty cool there. Moving rearwards guys, we do have a metal uh, iron sight. Uh, moving down, the front handle is actually a plastic style, or nylon. Uh, moving rear again, you do have your charge handle. Uh, this charge handle, the outer, is actually metal, which is awesome. So you can actually slap this one. Um, obviously, depending on how much or how hard you are slapping that, depends on how long it's going to last, so be careful with that. But moving rearwards again, guys, we do have your upper which is plastic. Uh, the uh, upper is made from, it's like an ABS style plastic. The lower is a lot stronger. It is more of a solid style nylon composite plastic. Um, so that's for your upper receiver and then your lower receiver. Uh, your selectors are ambidextrous, so I can, as you can see, I'm adjusting those from the opposite side of the blaster. Uh, they are actually nylon as well. Uh, the trigger itself is nylon. Uh, moving downwards, the magazine is actually made from metal. So this is a steel uh, construction magazine with just your release button down the side there. So this mag is actually nice and strong. Uh, the top of the mag is uh, plastic for your feed lips and then your gel follower as well is also plastic. Um, Moving rearwards guys, we've got a sling point on the rear 
Uh, this is actually made from metal, uh, so you can attach this one and sling it right down in front of you, which would be pretty cool uh, playing in your CQB games. Uh, just to have this thing hanging right there. Um, other than that though, guys, you do have your rear uh, iron sight as well. And on this blaster, this is actually made from plastic. Um, otherwise though, guys, we'll spin around to the other side. As mentioned before, ambidextrous uh, fire controls and the lever itself is made from the same nylon as the uh, lower uh, receiver. And that pretty much covers everything on the blaster. I should now quickly run into the internals. Uh, it is gas blowback, as mentioned before. It's designed to run on your uh, green gas style propellants. Um, it does have a similar firing mechanism as the Mac 11. So this blaster, as you can see, is set on fully automatic. You can also adjust that to your semi-automatic. So you single fire, and then you do have a safety as well. So it's pretty cool. All right, guys the ratings category section. Uh, at M4A1, we like to rate our blasters over four different categories with a score out of 10. So let's jump straight into that. First up guys, we're gonna have a look at the looks. <laughs> number, uh, <laughs> looks being number one, first category, 10 out of 10. Uh, it looks exactly the same as the real still version of the MP5K. As far as I'm concerned, this blaster looks absolutely awesome, 10 out of 10. So for all you guys out there who are in love with uh, Call of Duty, uh, you've got Battlefield as well as PUBG, you guys need to jump on this blaster ASAP because it is going to fly out of our shells very quickly, so don't miss out. Alright guys, next up in the categories we're going to have a look at the firepower. Now this blaster here, uh, shooting with uh, the green gas style propellant uh, or your gel blaster gas uh, as we're selling nowadays. Um, Shooting in semi and fully automatic with a fire rate of around 35 RPS. Uh, shooting at around that 2 to 240 FPS. Uh, I'm going to rate this blaster a solid 7 out of 10. It's definitely not the fastest blaster out there, but it is a hell of a lot of fun to shoot this blaster with the blowback as well. So we will actually cross over to the Chrono and we'll show you the, how this one shoots straight out of the box. G55 semi-auto. And we'll also cross over to the field and we'll give you a look at how this one shoots at the 10 meter mark and at the 20 meter mark. All right guys, next up on the list, uh, modability. Guys, you could modify this blaster. You will be able to find some parts to help you with your valves, your inlet feed valve, and also your uh, release valve as well. But for myself, hashtag for myself, I'm gonna tell you guys just to leave it how it is. Uh, the best thing you could do for this blaster is simply maintain it. Uh, being gas operated, you need to maintain your blasters. So greasing them up after every time you use them is a definitely the best place to start if you're looking to just get involved with how the blaster's working. Otherwise, I do stress, leave it how it is. Remember, you do have your 30-day warranty period. So just leave the blaster how it is and you'll have no issues with any warranties and you'll just really enjoy the blaster for what it's designed to do. So for modability guys, I'll give it a five because you can mod it, but I do recommend to leave it how it is. All right guys, last up, we're going to have a look at the durability of this blaster. Durability wise, I will give it a solid eight. Uh, it is not metal. However, it is a pretty solid design with your stronger lower and then moving up to your ABS upper. Now, this blaster, if you use it how it is designed to be used, you will be fine. However, just like every other blaster, we always say, if you abuse it, you'll get that in return. So look after your blaster and it will last a long time. Throw it around and treat it quite silly, you'll get that kind of return as well. So. 
All right, guys, so we're at that part of the video where we jump into the conclusion. Now, for your G55 guys, I can see this blaster being aimed towards those guys who like to sneak around and play more of your CQB style gameplay. Uh, this blaster is extremely short. Like, look at how tight you can really, really get this one nice and close, peek those corners very easily. So anyone looking to get into some CQB action, this is that style blaster for yourself. So guys, for any of you looking to actually get into one of these G55s, just keep in mind, this blaster is not your $100 to $200 item. It is priced more towards that uh, mid to higher end. So definitely get on into any of our shops, having 17 of them, and have a chat to your local guy and ask him uh, to have a look at this and check out the price and see if it is suited to you and your budget and your game style as well. So we'd like to see you in the shop very soon. So in conclusion, guys, could I see myself using this blaster? Hashtag for myself, yes, I could. I could definitely run a few games with this one at Rapid Vantage. The feedback you get from this blaster is amazing. It definitely takes you to that next level of gameplay. Every shot, you get that recoil, awesome bit of kit. So yes, definitely could use one for myself. So guys, you're watching this video, you're gonna be watching us on YouTube. Please remember to hit that bell, subscribe, get all the notifications, leave your comments down below. If you didn't like the video, double tap as we always say. If you did, please leave us a like. Also guys, we are on uh, Instagram. We are on TikTok now as well. We do also have Facebook. So please follow and like along all of those other platforms. Uh, thanks for tuning in guys. Before I leave, I must tell you again about the 17 shops that we do have just around the corner from yourself. I could guarantee if you're looking to get yourself uh, one of these new G55s, quick Google, check out where we are. We're right around the corner from yourself. So when leaving this video, guys, please stop and think. As we always say, stop and think before you do anything with your gel blaster, wear your eye protection, Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time on M4A1 Gel Blaster review videos. I'm Lee in the warehouse. See you next time.